All right, what is up traders? What's up tycoons? Super excited for today's video. We're going to talk about biotech and dive into the sector as a whole. Okay, so we'll break down the XBI chart. Uh, after breaking through our demand zone, we recently just hit the bearish price target given in the last video. All right. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about LabU and LabD. You know, basically, if you're into trading leverage, you can use those. Uh, and then we have Bingo is going to be an individual name as well as DNA. OK, now we're not just looking at those because they have really cool ticker symbols. Um, you know, those are two that I'm watching right now. And I'm actually watching DNA because Kathy Wood has been buying a pretty large amount of this one. Uh, she's been continuously buying that one. So we'll see, um, you know, that's what originally brought it to my attention. But as always, the content provided on this channel is for informational and educational purposes only and is not intended to be relied upon as legal, financial, or investment advice. So please be sure to read through the disclaimer. Now, if you're new to the channel, I actually started a uh, completely free newsletter called Investment Intelligence. All right, going over, you know, free valuable finance content for you guys. And I also try to sprinkle in some free trade ideas in there too. Uh, this was one on Tesla highlighting the conditions. That trade played out very nicely. Uh, this was one on SWK, Stanley Black & Decker. Also highlighting the conditions of the rising wedge and where price could potentially fall down to. And that trade played out very nicely here as well. So if you're fans of free trade ideas and free valuable content, go ahead and use the link in the description. Sign up for that newsletter. Okay. Um, now I also do day trading as well. So if you're ever interested in figuring out, you know, how we can make these type of returns and these type of percentages on day trades. Okay. You can go to my Ko-Fi page, click on the commissions here, and that's where you can directly book a 30 minute or one hour session with me. Um, I do these one-on-one -on -one personal sessions all the time. And we can go over, um, you know, basically whatever it is that you would like to go over. Now on the Ko-Fi page, you can also request a YouTube video. Um, so if you want a video on a specific topic of your choice, uh, this is going to be the platform to do so, okay? Now let's talk about LabU and LabD. Uh, for people that like leverage, these are going to be 3x um, bullish and bearish ETFs. So LabD has really been outperforming here as we've seen biotech really uh dropping and you know hitting bearish price targets um and you know lab u is going to be the bullish etf so we're not going to spend too much time on those all right um you know obviously one's bullish 3x the other one's bearish 3x always uh, consider the risks of playing with leveraged etfs uh, but we'll spend more time on xbi okay this is your biotech sector and we're getting some really clean developments okay very textbook, right? And what I mean by that is if you take a look, right, there's been multiple times where, you know, we established demand, right, and found support in these areas, okay, found support in these areas. And then what did we do? We ended up flipping those areas where we were finding support to resistance, right? So very textbook, prior support becomes new resistance. And that's what we see here, okay, is, you know, we see that we came down to this level, retested it as resistance now, dropped down lower, and we actually broke through this demand zone here as well, okay? And again, you know, very textbook stuff, you know, uh, support, support, and then now we break through, you know, you can see here, we came down and actually broke through, retested as resistance, came down again, retested as resistance, came lower and hit our bearish price target. So um, price action has been very clean, OK, we talked about, you know, if we weren't going to, uh, you know, find demand in here and push back up higher. Um, you know, we talked about the possibility of coming down to the 66, uh, 84 level and hitting our bearish price target. And um, that's exactly what we've done. Now that we've hit this bearish price target, uh, we're going to see maybe can we actually establish a little bit of support here and potentially get some type of a rebound. Right. That's one thing I'll be looking for. Um, you know, one reason why I'm considering the possibility of that is going to be that we have some bullish divergence. So if you're not familiar with that term, just take a look how we have a low here. We have a low here and we have a low here. Now, if you look at your RSI, remember, this is your relative strength index. We have three higher lows at every single one of those points. Right. Um, you know, so we're seeing, you know, lower lows here and we're seeing higher lows here. We're building relative strength as price actions continue to come lower. And we're also at a, a level of potential support. So I will be watching XBI for some potential long positions. Um, you know, just because we have bullish divergence doesn't mean that the stock has to go and rebound, but I'll see if that's going to be a possibility. Um, and, you know, I think that this is definitely going to be a good one to just keep on your, you know, your watch list. If you were to just 
um, you know, use some very simple risk to reward measures. You know, you could put a stop loss, you know, right below that 6684 level, and then you can set a take profit wherever it is that you like, um, you know, preferably with a good risk to reward ratio, whether that's a one to two, one to three, one to four, um, you know, those are the kind of risk to reward ratios that, um, you know, you kind of want to set yourself up with. Now, overall, it's pretty bearish, right? We have our blue line here is a 200 day moving average. It's trading far below the 200 day moving average. You know, we broke through two key demand zones. We came down to hit the bearish price targets. So, you know, you want to be cautious of potentially catching a falling knife. All right. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, just trying to perfectly time the bottom. Um, and, you know, right now it's just developing and we'll see how this plays out if this bullish divergence plays out and gives us any type of a trade opportunity. Now, this is bingo right here, B-N-G-O. This is bio nanogenomics. OK, and it's got this bearish channel here and it's given us two head fakes already. Right. You know, so we can see a head fake here. We can see a head fake here or potentially, in my opinion, I think that this might be a head fake. OK, so two head fakes here you know we had the look above and fail and we might have a look below and fail here and actually go for some of that mean reversion back towards the middle of this channel now uh, if we were to do some simple concepts here as well take a look we have lows we have lows on the rsi and then we have lows here and we have lows on the rsi and i've drew uh, i've drawn the level here <clears throat> and it may be a little bit hard to see if you guys are on the phones, but it's slightly above. So, um, you know, we can see this huge downtrend in the price and the relative strength index is actually just slightly higher uh, than where it was previously uh, when we started bottoming out here for a little bit of a rebound. And, you know, so again, that's going to be another slight bullish divergence that we have. It's extremely oversold, uh, especially on the daily here. You know, it's at 18. Uh, the RSI is at 18. Just because something's oversold or has a bullish divergence doesn't mean it has to go up. Uh, but oftentimes the RSI will be a leading indicator and tell you, you know, what's going to happen potentially in the future. And so we'll see, um, you know, if this one is going to play out. Now, if we do start to, you know, actually break out of this channel, okay, the major levels is going to be 259, 290, and 321. Ultimately, we're not bullish. OK, until we're above this 321, that is your 61.8 percent retracement level of the most recent move down. OK, <clears throat> and if we can get above that price, um, you know, then the odds of a 100 percent retracement right up here towards that four dollar area, then those odds greatly increase. OK, uh, but ultimately below three dollars and 21 cents, all of that is healthy retracement territory to potentially continue the downtrend. Right. That's how you want to use the fibs. And these three levels right here, the 61.8, 50, and 38.2, those are the three most common and well-respected Fibonacci retracement levels. You use those to identify trends, okay, and trend continuation versus trend reversals, right? You have an uptrend, move up, retracement, continuation, downtrend, move down, retracement, continuation, or you get the reversal, you know, where you, you move up, you retrace, start to consolidate, and then break through those retracement levels. That's how you can spot a reversal to the downside. And the same thing to the upside. When you move down, retrace, and you start to consolidate a little and break through those major retracement levels, that's when, you know, the odds of a reversal greatly increase. So, um, you know, keep XBI on your watch list, keep bingo on your watch list. And as I mentioned before, Kathy Woods has been buying a lot of shares, uh, it seems recently, of this DNA stock, right? Now, I'm actually using this information from the Discord, okay? In the Discord, um, you know, we have many features in there. And one of the features is you can look up what trades Kathy Woods is making, right? So uh, if you guys want to join the Discord and be a part of the community, um, you know, you can use that link in the description down below. All right, it's just a couple dollars basically a week. And, um, you know, we're, we're growing that and it's officially launched now. Okay. So this is basically the first video where I'm talking about it being officially launched and I won't spend too much time talking about it. Uh, but there's a lot of amazing resources in there. And, uh, this is one of them being able to let, take a look at the stocks that Kathy Woods is buying and selling. Um, and you know, DNA kept popping up on here. So I wanted to check it out. And this is our chart here for DNA. Now DNA is looking pretty interesting here to me um you know if you see we've got support we've got support we've got support and now we're back in this zone here again so the big question okay is will this hold will this area hold as demand okay continue to be a demand zone here 
Um, same thing. Okay. Ultimately, we're not bullish until we're above the 61.8% retracement, which is going to be 186. Um, you know, if we can break this shorter term downtrend here, right, that'll put us right at our major retracement levels. Um, and we just want to be cautious of a failed breakout. Now, this one is much closer to its 200 day moving average right here. Um, you know, we have actually flipped that and we're trading below it right now. A big thing we need to be cautious of is, you know, the same people who are buying here, here, and here, and here, uh, are those buyers going to continue to stay present and push this up higher? Or is this area getting weaker? Is this demand getting weaker? And could we potentially head down below? Now, um, you know, below its current price, we have 147. That's an area that was resistance. And then we flip to support over here. So we do have a little bit of some support to the downside, um, you know, at 147. For this one, if we do end up breaking, um, you know, below this demand zone, uh, that'll be an area where I'll look to see uh, for potential buyers to step in. And ultimately, if we break down below there, it's very possible we're going to head back down to the next key area of liquidity and the demand zone further below around 120 area. So those are the ones I'm watching, um, you know, seeing how they're developing right now. DNA also has a slight bullish divergence here as well. I've already explained what that is and what that means. Um, so we're going to see if any of this bullish divergence will play out and potentially help us out. Now, don't forget to sign up for that free newsletter using the link in the description. If you guys are fans of free valuable content and free trade ideas and reach out to me on my Ko-Fi page using the link in the description, head on over to the commissions tab. And that is where you can request a YouTube video on the topic of your choice and also book a 30 minute and one hour session directly with me.